Psalm 98 verse 1 says, Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has performed wonders. His right hand and holy arm have won him victory. You know, it's a great thing to, to celebrate and to worship the Lord. And, and we call, in fact, uh, I, I often use the, the phrase worship celebration when we talk about our Sunday morning services because it's uh, truly as we gather together, we're celebrating God, we're worshiping Him, we're seeking to honor and, and glorify Him. And so on Sunday morning, we're going to finish this, this series that we've been doing over the last few weeks, uh, talking about the power of repentance and returning to God and worship, just like the exiles did, uh, not just like the exiles did, because none of us have ever experienced what exile is like, uh, like the nation of Israel did in Nehemiah's time, but, but in a similar way to seeing how they repented of their sins and turned to God and worship, returned to God and worship, relearned how to worship God. We've been talking about that over the past few weeks, just looking at the story of Nehemiah, then looking at a Psalm 145 last week, looking at Psalm 98 this week, and we're going to talk about worship celebration. Why do we call it the worship celebration? And so my, my, my hope as we look at Psalm 98 together on Sunday morning is that, that you will kind of really think about your passion for, for worship and, and how can we seek God to help us for that passion to grow, that continually grow in, in our desire to worship God and our faithfulness in worshiping God. And so we're going to talk about four different or, or, or three different uh, ways that, that we celebrate him, that when we worship God together and we talk about a, a worship celebration, what is it that we're celebrating? Why are we celebrating? And so we're going to look at that on Sunday morning as we look at Psalm 98. I want to encourage you to join us for our worship celebration at 1040 for our full schedule, family groups, worship. Uh, we've got our business meeting, our church family business meeting on Sunday morning that we hope if you are a member of our church, you'll stay and join us for that members meeting right after the service and then our evening prayer and praise. That schedule and everything else is available on myrichland.org. And so we encourage you either that or through the My Richland app to stay tuned with what's going on with our church family. But I hope that you'll pray that God will prepare your heart for, for Sunday and, and that you will have that celebratory attitude of celebrating God, who he is, what he's done for us, and, and of course, sending his son Jesus to make it possible for us to be in a right relationship with him. Looking forward to seeing you on Sunday morning.